Many of you guys love customizing an Android device and an important part of customizing is using Android launchers. So today in this video let's have a look at the top 3 launchers which could change the way you use your Android device. Without further ado let's get right into it. The very first one we have is the Pixel 2 launcher. This has been developed by the people at XDA developers, so kudos to them. This looks very much similar to the Pixel 2 or the Pixel 2 XL's launcher. The look and feel of this launcher is 100% same which is present on the Pixel 2 devices. Yes, the same thing. You have your navigation bars, then above you have the Google search bar and then you have your apps. And then from above you can swipe up the app tray. Yes, very much similar to the Pixel devices. There are some minimalistic settings where you want to actually enable or disable the Google function or the search bar from the bottom. Yes, this is a great launcher and you guys should give it a try. Because this is one of the best launchers and actually a replica of what you get on the Pixel 2 devices. This also gives you a lot of 3D touch functions which are same as that of the Pixel 2 device. Then we have is the annual launcher. A launcher that actually emphasizes on security. When you swipe left, you will get a pattern, you have to unlock that. And then you can add your favorite apps in there which you want to hide it from other people like WhatsApp or your creator studio or many more. And then those apps will be hidden from your actual app tray. And then you, when you swipe left, you will get your app. You can also freeze your desktop. That is, you cannot change, make changes to your desktop unless and until you enter your password. Then you also have the share zone. You just have to make sure that some specific apps are there in the share zone which you want other people to access. And then not more than those apps people will access. Yes, you select some specific 4-5 or five apps and then those people cannot touch your other apps at all. To disable this share zone, you have to again swipe left and then you have to again enter your password. When you enter the password, the share zone will be disabled. When you swipe up from the bottom, you get a small control center where you can actually enable or disable the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, make changes to your sound, landscape portrait modes, open the calculator, camera, torch and many more. You also get an option to scan the barcode. Yes, this launcher can scan barcodes for you as well. So this is also a great thing. This is a great launcher and you guys should give it a try. The last one in our list is the Arrow Launcher which is now known as the Microsoft Launcher. This is a great launcher. You get a list of apps in the alphabetical order from A to Z. And then you also get many more other options on the desktop. When you swipe or left you can add many more columns. Yes, on one side you can see your recents, on the other side you can see some other things. When you add a page on your desktop, you get many more options like frequently used apps, people, reminder, calendar, notes and many more. Yes, you can just pin down notes and you can add them to your home screen. You also get other 3D touch features. When going into the arrow launcher settings, you get a customization option where you can change the icon layout. You can add the icons names which is great. You also get an option for vertical scrolling or horizontal scrolling. You can keep the status bar, notification badges, you can lock the desktop that you cannot make any changes to the desktop. Just like the freeze desktop feature which was present on the annual launcher. Yes, this is also a great option. You also get gestures where you swipe up for the dog, swipe down and then select what you want and you also have a double tap option. Yes, swipe down for the notification center, swipe up for the dog and then you can also double tap to lock your phone. So guys, these are the top 3 launchers which you guys should give a try. I seriously recommend you these launchers and I use them myself. Do let us know your favorite launcher in the comment section below or in the card section above. Thanks for watching guys because that really helps. And do subscribe to our channel for more of these kind of videos. With that being said, my name's Kev, you are watching Noise Tech and we're signing out.